Welcome to FreshMy.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to create a picture to hang on a wall. I'm just going to create a simple picture frame. Let's create a box. I'm going to hide my grid. Let's make it a little bit easier to see here. I'm going to select this top face. I'm going to extrude it. Scale it in. I'm going to extrude again. Push it down a little bit. Scale it inward. Something like that. I'm going to extrude again and push it down. I'm going to extrude again, scale it outward, but I'll go to a top view so I can see a little better. I'm going to extrude one more time, just push it down a little bit. So we just kind of created a, a lip around here, kind of a ledge. All right, I'm going to grab this bottom face and just pull that up. To where it needs to be. And now I'm just going to kind of reshape by grabbing vertices, all these right vertices. Just kind of pull those. Actually, let's make it a lot bigger so our frame looks smaller. So, something about like that. Alright, I like that. That's a nice size border. Okay, let's create a couple materials. So I'm going to go up to my Windows menu, over to Rendering Editors, and I'm going to click on Hypershade. Over in the left-hand column, you need to click on Blend two times. It's going to create two materials. I'm going to go ahead and double-click one. It opens up the Attribute Editor for it. I'm going to give it a name. Let's call this Frame Color. I'm going to take the color and just make it kind of really dark. I'm going to make a black frame for this. And the reflectivity, I'm going to take it uh, right down here. I'm going to take it all the way down to zero. I don't want any reflectiveness on my pic picture frame border. Okay, on the next one, the blend, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to rename it over here in the attribute editor. I'm going to rename it to photo. Down here, the color, I'm going to click on this box, this button with the checkerboard all the way to the right of the color. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to open up this dialog box. And I'm going to click on File over here in the right column. Back in the Attribute Editor, you'll see an Image Name field now. And in the far right, you'll see a button with a picture of a folder on it. Click that folder, and now you can navigate to your pictures. I've got a uh, photo that we took when we went to a river, have some fun. Uh, I thought I'd make a great picture, so I put it on my desktop. So all I'm going to do is select that picture and click on Open. And now if you look in our image name over here, we've got some information. So there's our picture. And there's our little sample picture up here above it. So everything worked out good. So now let's add, let me just kind of drag these out of the way a little bit. All right, so we have our frame color and we have our photograph. I'm going to select the picture frame. I'm going to right click on our frame color material over here and I'm going to select assign material to selection. So if you right click on on this right here, you'll see a little menu pop up and just select add to selection. All right. I'm going to select our picture frame again. I'm going to switch to face select mode. I'm going to select the face where our picture should be. And now I'm going to right click on our photo material. And with a little pop-up menu that comes up, I'm going to click on Assign Material to Selection. All right, we don't need our hyper shade anymore, so I'm going to close that out. Press. All right, we can't see anything in there because what we need to do is make sure our cursor is over our view panel and then press the number 6. And that will allow us to see textures inside of our view panel. All right, our picture didn't come out the way it should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that face again. I'm going to go up to Create UVs. So look for a menu called Create UVs. You may have to change your menu set. I uh, got my menu set on polygons. And then under Create UVs, I'm going to click on Planner Mapping Options box. And what I want to do is I want to select the axis that is going through the face of our picture, which for me is the Y axis. So I'll make sure the Y axis is selected, and I'm going to click on Project. So it creates a projection, and it 
also opens up the attributes up over here for our uh, projection that we just did. So I can come over here and there's our projection width and height so I can adjust these as I need to. Uh, we can rotate it right here if you want to rotate an X, the Y, or the Z. So if we wanted our picture this way, I come over here and rotate 90 degrees and it changes our picture. And then we can just readjust the height and the width like so. Alright, I'm going to change it back. So, whoops. Zero. Alright, there we go. And if, it, if you're offset, you've got your uh, projection center over here. So just play around with all this stuff. And that's done for that. So let's create a wall to put it on. Let's see. Let's just create a box here. Scale it up. Scale it down maybe a little bit. Delete a few faces. Select our picture. Let's just start rotating this around. So let's see 90 degrees. And then negative 90 and X. Let's see, modify center pivot. That just gets our manipulator handle back in the center of our photo so it doesn't feel so weird. Just kind of put our picture up there where we want it. And let's just do a really quick render. Let's make this bigger. 1024. Software. I'm going to change it from low quality to highest quality. Why not? Close. And let's just do a little simple render. And that is all there is to it. Creating a picture, so now you can create lots and lots of pictures to decorate your projects. Thanks for watching.